hi so uh, i'm going to show you how to upload a file to google drive and also uh, share the link you know to somebody whoever you want to have access to the file the file could be a picture it could be a video it could be a voice anything any kind of file at all that is shareable you can you can share it to anybody um using drive all right so the reason why i want to use drive is because whatsapp will actually reduce the quality of your file but when you upload it to drive this is just like you uploading it to google right so you upload it to google then share the link someone can actually access it from that place then you can also set security the kind of person people you want to the way you want people to view it if you want if you want people that have the link to just view it then fine they can view it if you also want people that uh you only only people that you give permission to view it then that's gonna, what's going to be you can also set download if you don't want people to download the file you can also set it like that okay so the first thing you need to have is your drive download this drive app if you're using a system <clears throat> once you log into your email your gmail account or your google account automatically you're going to see all the google suits that is all the google files but if you're using it with your phone then you need to download this file because it doesn't come it comes as an app for for mobile all right so you click on this drive these are all files that were shared for, to me or i shared to other people all right as you can see i click on file but when you come to home it's going to bring you to all the files you have all right then shared is all the ones that has been shared to you <clears throat> the one that other people give you access to you get so so if you click here you can actually change the gmail account you have you can change the gmail account like if you want to switch to another gmail account you switch into another gmail account this is another gmail account if you click here you can switch to any of your gmail accounts you can also create new gmail accounts actually so if you want to share file the what you need to do is just click on this plus icon you can see the plus icon down here by the right right button so when you click on it you're going to see upload file scan document take photo create folder google doc um and all of that what you want to do is to upload file so you just upload file click on upload file then it's going to take you to your photos or videos or if you have the file in your internal storage you can click on browse to now browse check where it is so i'm just going to click on photo i believe whatever you want to share with me is in your photos right so i'll give it full access then i'll just come here these are my videos let me click on the one you can select multiple files but let me select this particular one it's just a 15 minute video you can upload i think even large i think you can upload up to three gig two gig uh size of video but this is just a 15 minute video i can as you can see i can select multiple videos and upload them once right then i can also select videos and images this is an image okay so then i will click on upload up here so guys the file has uploaded successfully and um as you can see if I come to down here, you can see the file here. So I, when you want to share the file to somebody, just click on these three dots in front of it. You can see share. You can see manage access. You can see copy link. You can just copy the link. When you click on copy link, then you just share the link with anybody you share the link with. Once they click that link, they will just see the file. All right. If it's a video, they will see the video. They can watch it. They can download it. If it's a if it's an image, they will have access to it. If it's a document, they will have access to it. And I think one of the good things about uploading your file here is that it helps you to upload your important documents like your CV, your birth certificate, your document, your relevant documents, so that you can have them mobile anywhere. You can access them from anywhere you are, as long as you have your phone or you have a device, any device at all. So even if you don't have your phone, you can still access it from any device that has internet connection and you have access to your email, your, your Gmail account. You can actually access the file. So in case you're anywhere and you need to download your CV, maybe you traveled, 
you don't have to start running back or telling someone to send you your your cv your hard copies of cv you can just log into your gmail account and download them from your google drive easily from anywhere okay so that's the thing so now if you want to control the access you can click on share when you click on share here you can actually add people manually you can just put their email then you can also click this place to limit access you see manage access you can also have access to this manage access when you come here you see manage assets here if you click manage access now you have okay you have um you can copy the link here directly and share it you have no managed access but if you click on this restricted click here only people added can open the link if you click here now now if you copy the link from here it means any person that have this link cannot view that document once they try to access the document they will need to get permission from you they'll first send a request to you then you have to give them a permission to view so this is kind of restriction someone that is not authorized cannot view the file so when you open here you can change that restriction you see it is restricted only people you want to view the this the, the, the this thing only the people you want to view the file or the document that will view it right so then if you change the restriction here to anyone with the link now it is no longer restricted if you copy the link and send anybody at all you can also change here from here you can say viewer so any person that have that link can view it if it's a document maybe your cv any person that have it can view it but they cannot do anything they can just view it then this place commenter this commenter means any person that have access to that document can actually uh leave a comment on it maybe just this one is usually for people that are collaborating in an office maybe you guys are working on a project then you can give them access to you know view your file and comment something like that then the editor part is someone that you're working on a project with if they are if they also need to contribute something into that project then you're giving them a full access they can actually download the cv and work on or sorry they can actually open the cv and also work on it like they can literally change some text or add some things into it so you're giving them a full admin access to the document all right so but if what you're when you're sending to me um so you can just simply kind of um control your access here yeah, the, the level of access you give to people this is just your own way of uh restricting or protecting your your files or your privacy or your office privacy in case you work in an office all right so what you do once you upload it just come to the file click on these three dots you see copy link down here just click on copy link and then once you copy the link if you share it with anybody let me share it with you if i share with you now uh if i click on the link you see it's going to take me to that link you see so i think i shared the wrong link with you let me delete <laughs> so let me copy this picture where is that picture okay this is the picture we copied so let me copy if i click on copy and then i share with you once i send if i click on the link I'm, I'm i'm going to assess the file look at it i can assess the image you see so if this was a video i'll just access the video directly now if i click here i can download i can download it i can do anything i can copy it i can I have full access because you did not add any restriction right so that's it it's really simple then the same thing if i send you a file once once i send you a file it will come to your your device you just click on this share this shared with me once you click on this shared you're going to see all the files that people have sent to you you can actually just click here to download them you can also click to open them or to download them all right so it's quite simple and it's very useful as well thanks for watching